This local sports report is presented by Howie Schmidt Realty, a proud supporter of the Air Centennials. Howie Schmidt Realty has been helping local families buy and sell homes since 1981. They bring experience, local knowledge, plus a friendly and caring approach to help you purchase your dream home or get the best price when selling. Contact Howie Schmidt Realty today at 519-653-6666 or visit hsrealty.ca. It's a Halloween tilt from the North Dumfries Community Complex as the Air Centennials try to regain top spot in the Eastern Conference as they take on a now Western Conference foe in the Elmira Sugar Kings. Let's get to the action. First period, Liam Evely sets up Luke Della Croce, but he is stopped by Caden Newton. Late in the frame, a big collision in the neutral zone as Jimmy Sutherland sends his man down to the ice. No score after one. In the second, it's another big hit, this time by Ryder Roberson at center ice. The puck then goes the other way, and a good chance for Mitchell Ferris. He breaks into the offensive zone, but he's stopped by Elliot Hardwick. He then springs a good Sugar Kings chance as Ryder Roberson gets the puck at center. He comes in. He is stopped by Caden Newton. So, too, is Nate Gravel, and we are still scoreless. A few minutes later, Almira on the power play. Good puck movement here as Luke Della Croce finds Ryan Forwell. He buries it, and it's 1-0 Sugar Kings. Late in the period, Jimmy Sutherland speeds into the offensive zone. Some nice moves to get by, but Newton makes the save, and it's still 1-0 after two. Third period, Austin Callagher with good pressure leads to Ethan Stover tying the game. His fifth of the year makes it 1-1 early in the third. Just a minute later, the puck takes a funny hop, and Sam Ratcliffe capitalizes. His second of the season puts Elmira back ahead. It's 2-1 Sugar Kings. Four minutes later, air on the power play. Jordan Sharon breaks in, and he wires it home. We are tied up again. It's 2-2 in air. Not long after that, a big hit along the wall by Ryan McKellar. No love lost between these two former Midwestern Conference opponents. Midway through the third, the Centennials break in. Dawson Morris takes the shot. It's stopped, but on the rebound, it's Joshua Hutton. His second of the season gives Air their first lead of the game, and it's 3-2. to two. Last minute of regulation, Elmira on the power play with the net empty. Liam Evely skates it up ice. He finds Joey Martin. Martin goes to the high slot, and he snipes it. It's tied at 3-3, and we need overtime. In the extra frame, Jordan Sharon takes the shot that gets stopped, but Owen Ayrton finds the rebound and buries it. Ayrton's eighth of the season wins it for Aaron overtime by a score of 4-3 to three in a wild one from the NDCC.